Hi, my name is Paul, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the HTML editor. Our HTML editor is a very easy to use application that allows you to quickly and easily access and edit your existing website regardless of where it is hosted. So the first thing you would do is you would log into your account. You would enter the username and your password and log in. Now if it's your first time using the system, you need to create or add a site. Select the Edit Existing Website with Easy Web Content Editor and enter your website address or website URL. Site description, this is just for your reference. And the FTP information that's associated with your website. If you do not know the FTP information, you can contact your web host. It is pretty standard all hosts to provide this information to you. Enter the username and the password and the remote directory for your hosting account. Now if you're not sure what this is, you can leave a blank and uh, click the create edit site and the system will try to automatically detect that for you or guide you in the right direction. And once the system has connected, it's going to add it to your My Websites list and you will click on edit site. And now to access your web pages, there are three simple methods to do that. One is the quick edit. This is if you had recently saved pages using the system, it would be listing your recently edited web pages. I've not recently edited any web pages, so they are not listed here. I could use the enter web page URL. So if I knew the exact address of my web page, I would enter here, and then I would click on the edit web page. But since I do not uh, know this information, for example, I'm going to use the file manager. If you don't know that web page, you're going to use the file manager. Click on the link to access the file manager. And you will be presented with a list of all the web pages and assets associated with your website. I'm going to look for a page that I want to edit. In this case, I would like to edit my home page which is index.shtml. Sometimes it's also called index.htm or default.htm. Now my web page has loaded within the Easy Web Content HTML interface. Let me give you an overview of the various features that, are, that exist within the system. Pretty much all the editing features are categorized into three different tabs at the top. There's edit content, which is pretty self-explanatory provides you with all the options to stylize and modify your text content as well as associating links with your content or images. There is an insert tool and this is pretty much for using uh, inserting elements to your web pages. Anything from images to containers such as tables to organize your content to multimedia features such as flash, YouTube videos and there is the insert HTML feature and this will allow you to embed codes from third-party providers be it YouTube, be it uh, Google Analytics or any other third party that you trust that you want to insert embed code or features into your web pages you can use this feature. And last but not least there are the add-ons and widgets. This is an interesting section. Uh, there are actually a number of interactive features here that are exclusive to the Easy Web Content System. You can create forms for your website, sitemaps, content tickers, interactive calendars, carousels, photo galleries, MP3 music players, and even flash slideshows. Uh, these are all features that you can use to better connect and better uh, con communicate with your audience. Now let's do some very basic content editing. I want to add a couple pieces of text and an image on this web page. I'm going to go to my edit content. I will go to the location that I want to enter my information. So I will go between this paragraph and I will type my content. I'm going to highlight anytime I want to stylize the content I need to highlight that piece and then I can go and apply my change to it. In this case I want to apply bold and I want to also modify the color so I will click on this option here and I could select from millions of colors or enter a specific color here or I can just go to a standard palette and select the color. 
So I'm going to select a kind of a maroonish red color. And that has been reflected into my, uh, onto my text. I'm going to press enter. And then I want to do is insert an image. So I'm going to go to insert tools. And under images, I will collect, select the insert slash update. Now I could enter the image URL if I knew what it was, but most people do not know that. And in this case, my image actually resides on my computer, so I want to upload it and insert it to my web page. So I click on the Browse Site Library. And now I have a pop-up that shows the folders that are associated to my site, which I can visit inside specific folders and locate images. In this case, I'm going to go inside of my images folder. Now, the, the image that I want to insert is actually not in my um, images folder. It is on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for the image and I'm going to upload it to my hosting account and then I will insert it to my page. I'm going to go inside the folder that my image resides on my computer. I'd like to insert this image, so I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to click the upload file and this will actually take the image from my computer and it will upload it to my uh, website's hosting account. And so the file has been uploaded. I'm going to OK it. And automatically the page has been refreshed and there is the image that I had uploaded. Now to select it I'm going to click on the image name. And there it is and there's a preview of it on the right side. I'm going to associate an image description and title. This is really more for search engine optimization because search engines cannot really see images but they do understand what text is associated to an image. So now I'm ready to insert the image to my page. I'm going to click the insert. And there it is. There is the image that has been inserted to my page under the text that I wanted it to be located under. So what I would like to do is I would like to preview my page and make sure it looks the way I want it to before I save it. So what I will do is I will click on preview. And here's a preview of my web page. I can see the text that I added and I can see the image. I'm happy with my updates and what I can do is I can either click save or I can close and then I can come down here and click on save page which would basically automatically save the page to my hosting account and publish it to the web within a matter of a few seconds. Of course I can go ahead and access additional pages through the file manager I can go ahead and load additional pages and do my content editing. Uh, there are many other features and functionalities within the Easy Web Content System and uh, you can refer to additional videos for those. This is just to give you an overview of how easy it is to access your website from anywhere, edit your content on the fly, and save it and publish it to the web. We hope that you give the system a try. Thank you very much.